Jamba 2 family is here. AI21 has released these two models. One is Jamba 2 Mini and the other one is Jamba 2 3 billion built for grounding and instruction following. The objective of these models is to give enterprises cost effective models that will integrate well into production agent stacks. These models are designed for reliable instruction following and grounding outputs, working well over long documents, avoiding drifting once context becomes too large. So they are solving a real business problem. They perform best for precision question answering over internal policies, technical manuals and knowledge bases without the overhead of thinking tokens which can become quite costly and that is what we are going to test out after installing this 3 billion parameter model locally. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member. You can see that we have been covering these Jamba models for quite some time from the day one and we have covered each and every model released by them. Also please follow me on X if you are looking for AI updates without any hype. Now coming back to this model, I believe it is extremely important to understand what is happening behind the scene before we do the installation and start working through it. AI21's Java to 3 billion is a compact 3 billion parameter model for enterprise applications requiring reliable grounding outputs as I have said earlier. What makes it special is its hybrid SSM transformer architecture. It combines traditional transformer blocks with Mamba layers, which are structured state space models. This hybrid design dramatically reduces memory usage during inference that allows the model to handle up to 256k token context while running efficiently on consumer devices. The Mamba component processes sequences with linear complexity instead of quadratic scaling seen in standard attention mechanism, making it far more memory efficient for long context. I will be talking more around its training and what happened there but for now let's get it installed. I am going to use this Ubuntu system. I have one GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GPU of VRAM. If you are looking to rent a GPU on very very affordable prices, you can find the link to Mast Compute in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50% for range of GPUs. The tool which I am going to use in order to run this model is VLLM and it is only supported in the recent version of VLLM. If you don't know how to install VLLM and what VLLM is, just go to my channel, search with VLLM tutorial, watch this first video and I guarantee you, you will become a hero from zero if you don't even know about VLLM's name. So check it out and then I'm assuming that you already have installed VLLM and you're all set to go. Once you are there, just run this command. It is going to download the model with all the tool calling and it is using this Hermes parser. So let's run this. And the model is being downloaded. It is going to take a minute or so. And there are two shards of it. The other one, the mini one is quite big. I think it is 50 over 50 billion, I guess. We'll cover it later in the next video. And the model is now being served. Let's also launch our open web UI in order to have some graphical user interface. You can use any of your choice, but I'm just going to go with open web UI. And the model is now launched in open web UI. Let's first test if the model can follow multiple specific constraints simultaneously, which is a key claim of this Jamba 2 family. I'm asking it to write me a product description for a wireless mouse must be exactly three sentences. First sentence must mention battery life, include the word ergonomic exactly once and with a question. So let's see if it is able to do that. So we asked it first sentence must mention battery life. So it says the, this wireless mouse offers up to 60 days of battery life. It also includes the word ergo ergonomic and only once. And then it ends it with a question. 
you see it has got exactly three sentences which is really really good so i think with instruction following and this specific constraint um following it has really thrown it out of the park okay let's do another test in the next test i am going to check out the grounding or anti hallucination grounding simply means sticking to facts in the provided context not inventing information so i have this fictitious annual report of a company where there are a lot of information so it's a pdf file i'm going to upload that pdf file <clears throat> to open web ui so the file is uploaded and now i'm going to ask it this question now the document mention is uh, mentions a quarterly dividend of around 0.23 cents per share but doesn't specify q3 specifically just that it's a new amount after a 15% increase but what i am asking it what is the quarterly dividend amount in q3 of 2024 if this model is grounded it should say not specified for q3 or clarify what info is available if it makes up a number it will fail the test so it says that tech corp approved a 0.23 per share quarterly dividend in q3 of 2024 so i believe it is grounding is there but it is a bit weak because um, the model is claiming the dividend is for q3 2024 but the document only states the board approved 0.23 as a new quarterly amount after a 15 percent increase because it has invented specific timing details not present in this source so i think i would say this test is not there okay let's do another grounding test so i'm asking it how many patents does tech corp hold in blockchain technology and let's also check the vram consumption so it is consuming you can see around 45 gig of vram which is huge okay and but you know what the answer is correct because tech corp does hold some patents but not in blockchain technology so this model is correctly telling us that does not hold any patents in blockchain technology but it has given us which patents it holds so grounding works this one is good okay in the next one i am going to check out long context retrieval so what i'm testing i'm asking it what were tech corps revenue figures for each quarter in 2024 and what was the customer churn rate so i'm checking two pieces of information which are located far apart in the document so the first one the q1 q4 revenues are on page 5 in the document the document which i showed you earlier they are on this page and then um, the other one is also down on the same page but they are far apart so let's see if the model is able to keep track of that so let's run this And this is a perfect retrieval all quarterly revenue figures are correct and also the churn rate is accurate so the model has successfully extracted and combined specific data points from different sections of the documents which shows a very strong long context handling and remember it suggests three billion parameter model and now let's test out instruction following with calculation so what i am asking model here I am testing that if it can combine math, data retrieval from different sections and strict format compliance that you see I'm asking it give me only the number with one decimal point, no explanation. So let's run this to see what it does. There you go. How good is that? So this is really, really good enterprise smallish model, which follows instruction very strictly. And finally, let's check out multi constraint summarization. So I'm asking you to summarize this tech corps AI analytics platform. And what I'm testing here is information synthesis from multiple parts of the document. And then I'm also checking the instruction following very strictly with the rule. And we are testing both comprehension and instruction adherence. There you go. Really, really good stuff.
so look as usual i think they have done wonderfully well the jamba 2 looks quite good they also have a bigger version which is available check it out on their hosted version and if you want to install it locally you can do so too but you would need a lot of vram for that uh, bigger model which is a mini model that's it please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot thank you for all the support